In this series titled The Hygienic Design Strategy, we interview EH company members that have integrated hygienic design product development into their overall business development strategy. And with us today is Joachim Zip. He is the global market segment manager, food and pharma at EH company member Vika. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, what kind of products do you offer? What do you have? What we have, we have um, yeah, compl sensors with um, very hygienic housings and we have also the same sensors, but it's not necessary to have this, I say, full-blown hygienic design housings from outside, which are good to, to clean. When and how did your company embark on this journey into the space of hygienic engineering and design and what role did eHedge play in that development? The first steps into hygienic design for Vika was in the 90s when the engineers here developed the complete round inline diaphragm. This was an essential part to integrate pressure sensors and gauges into pipe work of food machinery. In the meantime, this principle and technology found its way into the document number 37 about the sensors of the eHatch, and from there, it uh, found its way into several further standards like the EN 1672 for food machinery and also into the ASMA BPE, the standard for the bioprocessing equipment. How did these new standards shape the way that you approached your own business development strategy concerning hygienic design? Yeah, as a consequence of this development, yeah, we continued to develop new instruments like the first inline thermal well, which is uh, able to, to have a very good cleanability in pipework to integrate um, electrical thermometer sensors in the pipework. And this one was the first thermal well which could be integrated in pipework, which was also EH certified. Back then, when your company completed its first hygienic design product, what was the next step that followed in this hygienic design business development strategy process? With um, when it's finished, then the sensors for sure need to be approved. Yeah? And that is um, a good way to have a third party which independently uh, tests the cleanability of the instruments and of the sensors. And therefore, the e hedge is a perfect way to do it, uh, to convince um, the end users and the um, producers of machines that these kind of sensors are really good and easy to clean. Now let's jump right into the presence. How are the efforts of your company to build up this hygienic design product line related to current uh, requirements of your clients? Uh, for example, the need for more automation. There is a trend to automize all the uh, processes. That means to automize all that, you need sensors to control the, the, the process. That no manual um, failure from uh, operators could influence the quality or the, um, the integrity of the end product. How about the cleaning processes, the automization of these processes within the food processing environments of your clients? How do these demands drive the further product development uh, within your company? For the cleaning processes, this automated cleaning process, which is uh, the CIP cleaning, there was a re requirement that really everything which is in the lines, all equipment should be easy cleanable means also all the sensors which take the, the information out from the process to the control center have to be designed in that way that they are really easy to clean. Easy to clean means in the end also reducing the operating costs, which means uh, you save water, you save energy, you save cleaning chemicals, and in the end also you save um, downtime. Well, I guess your clients love to optimize their productivity results. Uh, you also mentioned uh, the benefits of hygienic design regarding less use of water, chemicals, energy. Uh, do your clients actually also use uh, those sustainability benefits to propagate their own sustainability efforts? The, some of the food producers use these um, savings also and they publish it and use that for uh, marketing material. And one of the base to do that is uh, hygienic design because that's base 
to save all these uh, water, uh, chemicals and so on. You mentioned the importance of a fundamental understanding of the benefits of hygienic design. Uh, does your EH company membership contribute to that understanding? The, with the um, EH membership, you have um, the access to all of the EH documents, which is a really good source also for the engineers for in the R&D department to get a good base understanding about hygienic design, about the rules, about the um, requirements there. You personally contributed to one of the working groups that developed a new guideline update on sensor technology. Uh, what benefit is to be found in that for a contributor like you? If you take part in uh, the different working groups, you have a uh, chance to exchange your knowledge with other people. Um, you hear and to listen uh, about news, what, what's going on in hygienic design, and you learn a lot of uh, new trends, uh, which you can implement in, into uh, your new equipment. Would you be willing to share one of these new trends that you actually use to further develop your hygienic design strategy? So imagine especially for pressure sensors, that there's a very thin metal foil which is uh, in contact with the food. And if, for example, with, uh, with very high pressure peaks, uh, could create a broken diaphragm. And um, yeah, the sensor still works and gives an output signal to the operator, but the operator does not know that they have a mechanical damage of this diaphragm. And uh, now it's our point to also to monitor this integrity also of the mechanic in the process and to monitor these diaphragms. So especially for aseptic lines, we invented now a new step yeah, which um, monitors the integrity of this diaphragm, which monitors if the pressure sensors work in a proper way, especially in the hygienic design way. So in the end you can say the next evolution step of hygienic design is also to measure the hygienic integrity of the instrumentation in the machinery or in the plant. Joachim Zip, Global Market Segment Manager, Food and Pharma at Vika. Thank you very much for this interview. Vielen Dank. Thank you. Bye-bye.